Triandos Thornton keeps doing big things in his business and doing things for others. A kidpreneur and CEO with a purpose to help. He had this bright idea of being inspired by his father to love bow ties and to really want to share bow ties with the world. And from a very beginning, when he was five years old, he said bow ties gave people superpowers and he felt good and there was confidence with it. I love that after people put on a bow tie, I can see the smiles on their faces because I think they give you a magic superpower that encourages your bravery. He has a great work ethic and he also has a great heart because he wants to actually help people especially kids and adults that are in need. There's an old adage that says, when you love what you do, it doesn't feel like work. And I don't think he really sees it as work because it's something he enjoys doing. And he sees it as really a mission that he's on, a personal one and a professional one of empowering kids to really have self-confidence. Being eight years old, it's, it's just real powerful to see him be able to, you know, want to work so hard. I'm Trina Swanson. I'm eight years old and I am the CEO and founder of Tina and Botox and Apparel, and this is my hustle. So right now, I'm at Speaking Pieces Boutique, where she sells some of my bow ties at. This is my favorite one. It's popular in Africa and Europe. And these are my two best sellers. Well, the bow tie company actually began because Triandos walked in the room and he was like, hey, Dad, you always wearing bow ties. What about if we start a business? So I went downstairs to my mom and I asked her, can I start my own bow tie business? And she said yes, so she's been there from the very beginning. Triandos and Noah are typical children. They have high energy, a love for life, a love for nature. Typical eight and five year old, but they are, you know, still focusing on their business where they have to put stickers on bow ties, count inventory, put it in a box, and we go to like UPS, FedEx, and ship stuff off. So they have to do all of that stuff. My job is to pack the bow ties and give it to them and tell them about my business. My brother is just newly promoted to the president, and now I'm the CEO and founder. My mom's the manager. She helps with the online, adding bow ties and stuff like that. And my dad is the COO, and he helps with selling the bow ties to people. We sell bow ties, regular neckties, cufflinks for men, and women's scarves. And we also now sell hoodies, sweatshirts, and hats. What's so important to the founder and CEO, Triandos, as well as helping in the community. And that's why when he was four years old, he started the community food and toy drive that has grown and collected thousands of non-perishable food items and toys for families in need. My mom explained to me that everybody wasn't as fortunate as me. And so I wanted to help them and I started my food and toy drive. So far, we've donated thousands of food and toy drives to people that aren't as fortunate as me. It's so important to me because the community does lots of stuff for me, and so I wanted to bring that back to them. We're blessed this year with UPS joined forces and partnered and made a large donation of non-perishable food items and amazing toys for so many different families. And they donated that through United Food Forest in the name of Triandos and Noah. I've come a long way from my very beginning. I started at five years old, so that was three years ago. I also run a podcast, so I also learn more information from Hi. other people that I interview. Hi. It's been amazing. He's interviewed some of the best and the brightest in various industries that are out there, from professional farmers, from people that are making bracelets, to people that are running really large companies. So he's learned so much, it's inspired him. Tonight, I will be interviewing Kennedy. She sells bracelets. How was it like to own a business? What inspires me to keep working is my mom, my brother, my dad, my grandma, and granddad. When someone buys a bow tie, I feel more motivated because I feel like more people are supporting my business I can keep pushing through my business. When I'm not working, I like to spend time growing my succulents and also spending time with nature. Succulents, to see them grow 
and like you've been there since like day one when it was a small little plant. I think that makes you feel good and does like a stress relief. You can't just work all day and then you'll be stressed the night and then you have to work again tomorrow and be even more stressed the next day. As their parents, we are proud of them every day of, of giving their best, giving 100%. That's what's important to us, and we always tell them, as long as you're striving to be your best, then you already are walking into being your very best. Our motto is style meets purpose. That's my motto because um, you have to dress up to be successful. I think it's just, you know, genetically in his DNA that he wanted to kind of start and run his own business and, uh, you know, also give back to the community and, and help out in the world. It's empowering to see uh, Triandos and Noah really live and walk in the shoes they are intended to. They're really walking in their purpose and as their mother, I just pray certainly that they continue to do that and, and grow into uh, the individuals and men they are intended to be. We should do something more kid friendly, maybe a fidget spinner or, or something like that. I think I want to make my podcast worldwide where people can hear it on their radio and on television. And I also do have a tip. Kids out there, you can be whatever you want to be, just believe in yourself. Don't let anybody hold you back. You can do everything if you just put your mind to it. And that's how you tie a bow tie. Thanks for watching everybody. My hustle, make sure you check out my page, www.tinabowties.com. You can also find us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And make sure you subscribe to Whistle.